Ditching Animal Toxicity Studies for Drug Approval Part 2. In this part, I will take the side of pro-animal testing and their valid opinion. Point number one, the protocol of testing on animals than humans is the best option we have. It is not perfect, but it's the most accurate method. Point two, the alternative non-animal methods are in their early stage, with a lot of limitation that prevent this method from giving results able to mimic the complexity of animal systems. Point number three would be is that the alternative method needs a lot of work for international standardization. There are approved and standardized in vitro method, but they don't cover all the endpoint toxicity needs. It. Point number four would be the alternative methods are too simple in a way. I will give an example to explain. Let's say we are testing a new drug for liver or hepatic toxicity. We use an alternative method called organ on a chip, where there is a plastic chip with a small pipes covered with hepatic or liver cells. We pump the new drug in those pipes and see if the drug is toxic or not. Luckily, the drug was not toxic, which is a good news. But how do we know if this drug will cause another type of toxicity, for example, brain bleeding, cognitive effect, or even insomnia? Things that need a complex, full living system. Lastly, I know that animal studies are not the best option for representing our human physiology. But trust me when I say they are the best option we have. A lot of steps are taken before testing a drug on animal, like knowing the animal liver enzyme variation, knowing if there is an actual metabolic pathway that is relevant for us human, and many many more steps. It's not just an arbitrary testing for the animal. There are a lot of things happen before picking the right animal type and the species. Those are some of the valid points for pro-animal testing. In part 3, I will take the side of the alternative method testing argument. Stay tuned.